Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are doing the subscriber request and uh, we'll be designing surfboard using Katia V5. So I'll show you uh, what I took as a reference for the dimensions and then we'll model it in Katia V5 part design. The dimensions I took is from this magic seaweed uh, surf dome this is a website that sells uh, surfboards and they're they're like uh, masters they're pretty professional in uh, designing and all those things so they have a dimension list over here i took the last column so height uh, height as six feet three inches similarly width and thickness so and and i modeled it in katia v5 so let's see how how we can do it from the start let's go to part design modern uh, name it anything as per your wish the first thing that i want you to do is go to tools and options and uh, in general parameters and measures go to units and set your unit as feet inch fraction because uh, as you can see these all are in feet and inches so it will be easy for you to define okay once you have set your units start with the xy plane and we'll do the first sketch okay we'll start with the spline somewhere around here and we'll close it here leave it then mirror it about horizontal axis also join the two endpoints that's it we have the basic shape of the surfboard now we need to give the dimensions for this one so as you can see i have taken seven control points one two three four five six seven you can increase or reduce the control points as per your requirement but i think seven is the perfect one because i have seen so many other people using seven point uh, seven control points so i took it as uh, default okay let's go to dimensions we'll start with the this one so i'll keep it six inches and let's do the final length which is six feet three inches don't worry you'll see something like this happening to your model just on me to worry. you can six feet three inches all right now just adjust all your points one by one yeah let's keep it at this okay we'll start giving the dimension of all the control points so select this point horizontal axis we'll edit all the dimensions one by one double click select this to Mm. This two, this and this, also this one and this one. Okay, we have given the vertical dimensions of the control points. Now we need to give the horizontal dimensions. So this one and this axis similarly this one and this axis this one and this give it vertical sorry horizontal 
also this one and this one and the last point so once you have done it we'll give the values to all the points so this is six inches and then oh, one point five feet okay then the next point is four feet the next point is five feet and two inches two inches three by four okay close this one is uh, five feet two inches two point eight inches why is it not happening five feet let's skip it five feet okay then okay this is not five feet the other one is so we'll have to edit it once more and this one is uh, actually we have missed the uh, dimension so we'll, this one is three feet 3.5 feet okay so the next one is going to be 5.8 feet and then you can reduce it 5.7 feet or else 5.5 feet and the next one okay this one is four feet and this one is five point six feet all right all right we have the horizontal constraint defined we need to define the vertical one so 5.5 feet sorry not feet but inches then the next one is 8.5 8.5 inches And this one is uh, 20 inches 3 by 4 and this one is 9 inches 51 upon 64 and 5 inches 3 by 4 5 inches 3 by 4 now So this looks fine, but let's adjust this one so we can do it to okay. Yeah, I think it's uh, perfect as of now. 1.8 how much is this one let's see this one 
all right uh, it looks good so i'll exit the workbench let's give it a pad i'll pad it uh, up to two inches three by four and we'll mirror it okay so it looks pretty much uh, thick now and also we don't have the curved shape of the surf surfboard surfboard which we need so for that go to zx plane and a sketch and after that take a spline before taking the spline just select this face or else you can select uh, this edge and we can also select this face project it once you have projected it make sure it is in construction so let's select the spline now start somewhere around here and go up to here escape it another spline similar fashion okay need another spline to start from here to here and up to here now we have the spline will give the thickness of our board so before that join the end points and let's give the dimension so two inches three upon four so good make it a bit higher not close to the end a little bit and uh, also join this end okay okay we have over constrained it so we need to delete some now this one is 2 inches 3 upon 4 as well uh, one thing we can do is we can give tangency Let's see if we can do it okay. let's not give that keep it a bit uh, lower okay also assign the dimensions between these two points so 2 inches 3 upon 4 um, this could be okay Let's exit the workbench and go for pocket. Increase the depth. Check mirror extent and go for reverse side. Once you do that, click OK and your sketch is ready. Okay. let's edit the sketch to delete it we don't want it on this axis we can take it a bit higher and uh, can assign dimensions now 2 inches 3 upon 4 you see it goes down just make it slightly up set the workbench and your part is ready if you want to give it more curvature so I think it's good let's give it a more curvature
Yeah. See, look, I think it's good. Okay, so now comes the final part where we give the fillet. So for the fillet, you can choose edge fillet or I'll go for face fillet. So select two faces. You can keep the radius by default or you can play with it. I'll keep it default radius. Similarly, all other edges can be done. So, I think it's done. Okay, this one is left. And your surfboard is ready. hope you guys like this video and if you have any doubts feel free to comment down below and uh, make sure you will like it and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much and peace